16 wickets tumble on first day at Sophia Gardens. Glamorgan had a lot to thank Tim van der Hoekten for. An inspired performance last time out with both bat and ball helped them to a first win of the season away at Trent Bridge. That's exactly what Middlesex were hunting at Sophia Gardens after watching on from home. But Glamorgan's win last week didn't turn into early batting success. Salter out without scoring, chipping a catch to Stoneman off Roland Jones. Shaheen Afridi was making his first appearance for Middlesex, and the Pakistan international proved his worth from the get-go, first to bowl the dangerous Manas Labashain for eight, and then to remove Northeast for a first baller, out caught by White. The appeal for the hat-trick was vociferous, determined, but ultimately denied. They didn't have to wait long though for another wicket, Carlton out without scoring, Roland Jones with his second, Glamorgan now 24 for four. Middlesex were fired up and showing it in the field too. The captain David Lloyd, short of his ground, run out thanks to good work from Sam Robson. Crook and Taylor held off the Middlesex charge long enough to bring the 50 up, but the calm was short-lived. Taylor trapped in front by Tom Helm for 14. And then Nisa went in the next over, another LBW, this time for Anderson, Glamorgan now seven down. Cook and Harris limped their way through to lunch, the batting card in tatters at the break, the score 71 for seven. They needed to mount a bit of a recovery job, but had to do without Chris Cook, the last out-and-out -out batter, dispensed with by Roland Jones. 31 his score. The onus was now on Harris, and he delivered. Four runs off of Freedy took them to 100, when it had looked at times like they might not make it there. He too would fall the way of Cook though, looking to take on Helm, he only found a Freedy on the leg side boundary, and trudged off for 20. Afridi fittingly wrapped it up, his opening spell had started the carnage, and he removed Hogan to bring the innings to an end on 122, a rampant start to the game by the visitors. He and Roland Jones finished with 3 for 35 and 3 for 34 respectively, excellent returns for some fine bowling. The Glamorgan scorecard made for tough reading for the hosts though, Cook's 31, the top score with just four further contributions of double figures. Middlesex got themselves off to a better start than their hosts, Robson and Stoneman quickly working their way towards 50. But the partnership was broken before they could get to that mark. Robson out LBW for 21, Harris with the first wicket. Glamorgan sensed an opportunity and grasped it with both hands. White was next to go, Harris tormenting the visitors. And with the last ball before tea, van der Hoekten made it three. Hanscom gone for a duck, the score still 25 shy of 100. After the break, Mark Stoneman found the single he needed to go to his 50, scored off a relatively quick 68 balls. Max Holden, though, would fall a few overs later. One, his contribution, caught behind for Harris's third. Stoneman then fell to van der Hoekten a few overs later, caught behind for 53. Middlesex now five down and still yet to breach 100. The pace of the match refused to slow. Anderson out LBW to Nisa with parity still yet to be achieved. In Roland Jones, though, Simpson found the partner he'd been hunting for. The bowler not shy in taking on the Glamorgan attack, and they raced past the first innings total, all the way to a 50 partnership. And it was still unbroken at the close of play. Middlesex wandering in with the score 171 for six, just one shy of a 50 run lead. The seventh wicket duo had added 61. The visitors will be more than happy with their recovery. They got off to a great start in skittling Glamorgan for 122, but had troubles of their own with the bat. They'll be looking to take that lead as far as they can on day two. The hosts need to find some early wickets to hold back the Middlesex charge.